So here I have a Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 5 that came with only 256 gigs. And it goes this way. So what I'm gonna do is, it will hold it right there. So let's connect one here and one on the computer. So if I go to, I install that software over here, Macrium Reflect, I'll put the link as well. So what you do to start with is you select this one and right there, you will find clone disk. Clone this disk. And then you select the disk to clone. I'll do it with like this. You select that one, the two terabytes, of course. And now you have to do some moving this one here. Then the next one there, just to clone it exactly. And here's where you have to do some manipulation because you need to extend this one. So you need to extend it. Um, so you click partition size and layout, right click there. You move it as much as you can. So if you need 1000 here, this is the size of it. So you need to subtract 1000 from here. So uh, let's make it 161. Yeah, that will give me one, but you need 1000, so 24 less. So make it 88 here. So that left you 0, 0, 0, 1000. So now you click OK, and that leaves exactly 1,000 to drag this one, for example. That's when you go next. You don't want to schedule it, so you go next. You want to do it now, and you press finish. Yeah, you say okay to this one, and now it starts. So I'll stop it here. I'll come back when it's about to finish. And it says clone completed in 23 minutes and 19 seconds. So now it's the moment of shutting it down and replace, remove the old one and literally put the new one and it boot from it. We will take this one out from here. There it goes. So I'll just remove this one. And put this thing back. And turn it on, let's zoom out. We already booted. it. And there we go. If we check right here. Explorer shows now the C drive as that drive, the only slot that it has available.